Sometimes the pivot pole comes off as a different obstacle. Here's a video to work on your pivot pole. Sometimes the pole gate or sometimes the pole swing. Um, so watch the video for more help. My name is Roberto and I'm an EXCA judge and I just wanted to make these videos um, to improve your scores in the EXCA and you know many of us will uh, get our scores and wonder why um, our score might be a 6.5 but if you look back at the video you could easily see that oh it's because maybe I shied away or maybe it's because the horse made, uh, um, opened up its mouth and then there you go you got a uh, doctor point. I'm a little conservative on the scoring side so I'll um, ding people for you know mouth gaping and shying away and head tossing and um, if, if uh, you lose cadence um, and I just want to do that just so we can improve the sport and uh, so here are some videos to help you improve your scoring I do think if you guys can look at the rule book on number nine it really talks about penalties and awards that could really help you out because um, you know going from a six to a seven or to an eight they're big differences and you just want to know what to do to improve your scores all right, so here's the EXCA scoring and judging system. I encourage you to pause the video and see how there's three components per obstacle. There's the approach, the execution of the obstacle, and the departure. So we're gonna look at the rule book description of the pivot pull swing. Uh, it, we, we're gonna discuss the pivot pull and how it turned into a different obstacle. Sometimes you'll hear it as a pull gate. So we'll start uh, with what the rule book says and then go on there for, uh, with different examples. So here in the pivot pull swing, Johnny's going to pick up one end and then side pass around that other barrel where the uh, other end of the pull is. Uh, Draco is a larger horse, so we'll see him side pass here. The horse needs uh, hip control and we can have some more cleaning up in that, so on average he can get you know, probably like a five and a half score out of this. Um, he'll need you know, more side passing and leg yield and half passing exercises to perfect it, but we'll discuss that later. So sometimes we'll hear this as the uh, pole gate, but it's not. It's the pivot pole swing. Johnny's going to pick up one end, and it's going to pivot around um, on that one barrel on the one end of the pole. So in this case, he's walking around that barrel, not side passing. EXCA is a speed sport, and they want control. Uh, in this, I want to see a horse be able to come down to a walk if needed, and then lope off. Uh, like they would on a ranch. I would give a total score of six for that. Earlier you heard me say the horse would benefit from some side passing and half passing exercises. What's the difference? Let me show you the difference between side passing, leg yield, and half passes. You need them all. The side pass is uh, side to side, no forward movement. This is a leg yield, it's forward and sideways on a diagonal. The horse is slightly bent away from the direction he's going. So this is the half pass. It's in the same motion of the diagonal as the other exercise, but it's a lot harder. You need a lot more hip control and the horse is bent toward the direction you're going. Here's a quick introduction to getting your half pass, which are very difficult. You line up the horse on the fence and ask for the haunches in and walk forward a few steps, which will then lead you into the half pass, and then walk diagonally while keeping the haunches in. And then you can slowly ask for the nose in while you get the haunches in and the forward movement all together. So it basically just makes the job easy for you to use the fence. So horses work on a diagonal. Front left connects to their back right and their right front connects to the back left or vice versa. 
The rider should help the horse by connecting the right rein to the opposite back leg and again vice versa. So the leg position is, is really important. You're going to have either your legs like this or you'll have your legs the other way. Now that we've gone through the rule book's description, let's go through some other ways that I've seen this obstacle presented and common problems and fixes. Keep in mind that I'm breaking down the scores for you, but, not it's, uh, but it's not on score sheets because there's only one final score reported. So Johnny's going to come up and do the, um, on the barrel and pull. I think he leaned a little bit there and he stopped a little bit short. Um, so he has to set up a little bit differently to get that pull. He's coming around here nice and um, the horse's mouth and head isn't gaping or tossing. And I do like the way that he put the, the, the uh, obstacle down. So now at the trot, now he's gonna um, do the obstacle. He comes in on a lope. I think the approach was a little bit better. I would have liked his leg to stop by that pole a little bit closer, but it was uh, still pretty fluid. He was gonna pick up a lope there and then went back down to a trot, so it's just kept in mind. And then his departure was clean there, so a total score of 5.25. So now we're going to have them come in at a lope. Um, I think in his approach right here, he overshoots it just a little bit, but it was a nice stop. Um, but it's still considered you know, an overshot there, so he's going to pick it up. And he picks up the lope pretty quickly, I think. And then uh, the circle looks really nice and the horse looks controlled. Um, like I can ride it really easily. And so I gave him a 6.5 because overall it was good. So some common problems are a horse drifting or the hip swings out, you drop the shoulders or you have tight reins. So Johnny's problem here is that the horse is going to drift out of the circle. Uh, this is obviously when you're at home working on it. So one way is to quickly correct it, you know, stop and side pass your horse and back them up and then just do it again until they get it. Now if you're at a show you have two choices to make, you can stop in school or you can, let, you can move on. It depends on what you want to do for the next uh, show, so make sure you know what your plan is so that your next show is um, productive. So the problem here is that the horse's hip is going to swing out. We always want our horses to be underneath us and balanced, so we want to make sure we do fix that when this happens. So right here, the, the horse's hip swings out, and Johnny's now going to collect that horse and then do a circle around those barrels again, um, but in a circle uh, with the haunches in. So over exaggerating the correction, bringing the horse's hips in, he's going to finish it off here. Remember you start with that side pass back and then travel in a circle with haunches in and then try again um, with the pull. So here's a different angle of working that diagonal, haunches in and traveling in a circle. We got the haunches in there. And then Johnny starts going forward with those haunches in and in that circle. A friend of us told us that we could have really good hip control, but you want to really make sure you also have that forwardness like we have right there so that you can have um, really good leads. So the problem here is that the horse will drop the shoulders and cuts in. So a way of fixing that is doing the counter bent circles um, going out. So we'll get that counter bent there. Um, and then going around in that circle and then going ahead back into that pivot pull. So just making sure you always do your correction and then go back into what you were doing uh, just like nothing ever happened. One last tip uh, is to line up for success quite literally. So right here we don't want you to overshoot it so we'd say that's a bad shot. We don't want you to come to the pole and then have to overshoot it and then get the pole. We don't want you to come to the pole and then be cut too short and not be able to re and, uh, reach closely to it like right there. So line up with your leg to the pole and you'll be ready to go. So I hope that you guys got out of this that you really need your body uh, technical maneuvers down, your hip control, your side passes, your leg yield, and your half passes So uh, to help you with this pivot pole swing obstacle and almost every single other obstacle. So uh, please watch the video and, and I hope that it did help you in the end. Uh, have a good one. I hope you guys liked the video, uh, please like and subscribe and comment down below, it just really helps us figure out what you guys like and keeps us up with the algorithm. Um, so again, like, subscribe and comment and I hope this helped you guys out.